We're in the month of September, and you know what that means. Brand new Microsoft 365 Copilot updates have been officially posted on the Microsoft 365 Copilot blog. Microsoft is actively rolling out many new updates today. Let's go ahead and take a look for both end users and IT administrators, all of the unique updates that will impact your Copilot experiences. Hey everyone, my name is Nick Harris, and I am a senior Copilot Cloud Solution Architect with Microsoft. Welcome to the Microsoft 365 Copilot Connection, where we provide you the latest updates and details on Microsoft 365 Copilot experiences. Now, as is the focus for these particular update videos, we will start off with IT administrator updates and then follow with end user updates. This will also encompass a wide variety of functionalities available for both licensed and unlicensed users within the Enterprise Edition of Copilot. Starting off with IT administrator updates directly impacting the Copilot control system. Agent management is becoming easier as we continue to add additional agent capabilities for governance and management. As you see here with this particular update, SharePoint agents will be a part of the agent inventory, now allowing you to directly access all first party, third party, and custom built Copilot agents directly from SharePoint and the agent builder experience in your business chat. SharePoint agents will be easily discoverable and manageable as we provide additional views in terms of metadata and the ability to take actions on these agents, such as blocking or unblocking them. This particular update as a part of the Copilot control system will be rolling out in the month of September. With the rollout of the brand new Microsoft 365 Copilot search, allowing users to directly leverage keyword search or natural language search directly in their enterprise search experience, we're now providing an additional Copilot search report as a part of the usage reports in the admin center. This report directly applies to Microsoft 365 Copilot licensed users, giving you aggregated metrics around your active user counts, average daily users, total amount of searches, and average searches per user across the time period that you choose. You can also see individual user search counts at the very bottom of the report. Another new update that will directly impact the Frontier program capabilities, which is the particular program where Microsoft will provide you the latest updates and innovations, whether they be access to new models or new agents, a new request and approval flow will be added into the Copilot control system, allowing you to pick and choose which particular users may receive those features and functionality. This is noted that it has rolled out as of the month of August. However, I've not yet seen this particular update as of yet. It is still in development. So we'll watch out for this particular update to hopefully roll out here in the month of September. Moving on, the ability to control message pack integration directly via the Copilot control system in the 365 Admin Center is also being rolled out here in the month of September. Specifically, message pack integration and the pay-as-you-go features directly apply to both licensed and unlicensed users, dependent on the capabilities that they are directly leveraging. This allows organizations to directly control cost and feature usage along with ensuring that particular groups of users are leveraging those costs appropriately. Another new feature rolling out for agents, which is very simple, but I believe very impactful, will be the ability to manage ownerless agents. Administrators will now be able to block, reassign, or retire ownerless agents, ensuring further compliance and reducing any operational risk. General note, this update was supposed to roll out in the month of August. However, I've yet to see it in my particular administration experience, so most likely this will be available in September. And finally, for administrator updates, Microsoft Purview Insider Risk Management is leveling up. Rolling out right now from August into September, it can now detect risky AI usage by flagging sensitive prompts and responses directly from Microsoft 365 Copilot and Copilot Studio. Now moving on to end user capabilities that will directly impact both licensed and unlicensed users. When it comes to SharePoint online agents, agents really today in SharePoint are not easily discoverable. You have to directly navigate into a SharePoint online site to access them. And that will be easier for you all to manage here in the not so distant future. 
specifically directly via the agents menu in Copilot chat, you'll now be able to see your SharePoint agents. Also, SharePoint agents will be more easily discoverable via the team's app store for those agents that you've directly navigated to recently. And finally, there are additional updates when you inject SharePoint agents into a Microsoft Teams chat or channel experience. Here soon, you'll be able to add an agent into a channel, or you'll be able to add multiple SharePoint agents into a chat or channel as well, allowing you to talk to many different agents within your chat experiences to directly access that rich knowledge set at your disposal. If you're interested in understanding more about SharePoint agents, check out the previous video I posted on SharePoint agents via the card at the top of this video. As the biggest update we've had in quite some time with Copilot chat experience, GPT-5 is officially here in Microsoft 365 Copilot as well. Having rolled out in the month of August for licensed users, you can now directly toggle GPT-5 experiences on to try out the brand new reasoning model from OpenAI centrally stored and secured inside of Copilot. What this means for you is you can directly leverage the new routing model, where if you have just general questions and need lightning fast answers, Copilot can respond in a quick form way. Or if you need to perform a more research based tasks or brainstorming tasks, the router can directly navigate to the reasoning engine in order to give you a more informed response. This should also be rolling out for unlicensed user experiences at this current time. Let's talk about a major upgrade that's making Copilot Chat even more powerful and intuitive. First up is the brand new Tools menu. It's now built right into the chat input box, giving users instant access to AI features like designer, pages, and pinned agents, all in one clean, consistent interface. You'll also find advanced tools like Researcher and Analyst, making it easier than ever to work smarter, faster, and with less context switching. It's all about keeping your flow uninterrupted. And here's another game changer. Copilot Chat can now reason over email attachments. That means when you reference an email, Copilot doesn't just look at the message, it also pulls insights from attached files like Word docs, Excel sheets, PowerPoint decks, PDFs, and even structured formats like JSON and XML code. The result? Richer, more complete responses that actually understand the full context. The brand new tools menu should be available to all of you here sometime in the month of September. And for licensed users, the ability to summarize and understand those email attachments should be rolled out in the month of September as well. A new update is actively being rolled out to the code interpreter capability that's directly built into Copilot Chat. The ability to create files, whether that's Word documents, PowerPoint presentations, PDFs, you can do so by instructing the AI to create a downloadable file for you. And now for presentations, we are making that downloadable presentation experience more design-based. Currently today, if you generate a presentation with Code Interpreter, it's really just blank slides with text directly built in. And here in the not-so-distant future, those downloadable presentations will look somewhat like this, where the slide layouts and branding and design will also be incorporated within that rich set of information that you're having Copilot create for you. I can confirm today I've tested these particular updates. They are not directly available as of yet, but should be available sometime in the month of September. A plethora of new updates are directly being rolled out for image reasoning and editing capabilities in Copilot chat experiences. First, you'll be able to directly extract images and understand those images directly from your file content, such as Word documents and PDFs. Directly chatting with Copilot to say, what's in this particular image on this page? And Copilot will be able to extract that particular content. General note, I have tested this update. It doesn't seem to be quite rolled out fully yet within Copilot chat experiences, so something that most likely will be out here sometime in the month of September. And with the new updates for GPT-4O image creation being added into Copilot chat, you'll have the ability to create new high resolution and impactful images, as well as make precise edits to existing images that you create or upload into your Copilot chat. 
This will make it easier for you to ask questions and extract information, as well as make multiple iterative updates to your images across your conversation. And big news for creators and visual thinkers, starting in September, users will have access to a brand new side-by-side -side visual editor. That means you can move seamlessly from generating or refining prompts to editing images without ever losing context. This editor blends canvas-based controls with natural language guidance, so you can iterate faster and get closer to the result you actually want. Didn't love that first image? No problem! You'll be able to adjust, upscale, and auto-enhance in just a few clicks. It's intuitive, it's powerful, and it's built to keep your creative flow uninterrupted. And a huge upgrade for those of you that do not have a Copilot license. The new Create Module capabilities with all of its AI creative enhancements will be made available to you. This should be rolling out right now. And what this Create Module allows you to do is create AI images along with banners, posters, infographics, stories, a wide variety of options that you can leverage AI enhanced tools with. That allows you to then add material to your presentations, your document and your email content to further brand and leverage your own creativity with AI. I recommend if you haven't tried this new create module out yet, you definitely should. Click on the card at the top of this video in order to check out a video on all of the capabilities that I just described. Another new quick update for Copilot Chat will be the ability to, in Edge, right-click on material in web articles and pages that you have open to summarize the information more easily. And finally, custom dictionaries are being made available for Copilot in Microsoft Teams experiences. Your business speaks its own language, and now Copilot does too. IT administrators can now upload custom dictionaries for their tenant in eight major languages including English, Spanish, Japanese, French, German, Portuguese, Italian, and simplified Chinese. This new capability lives in the Copilot settings page inside the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and integrates organization-specific terminology, allowing Copilot to become smarter, producing more accurate, more meaningful meeting transcripts, and that thus means fewer misunderstandings, sharper insights, and a recap that actually reflects how your team communicates. And there's even more updates that are going to be rolling out and impacting your Microsoft 365 Copilot experiences. We'll have future videos out there for you to check out so you can stay updated on the latest updates and impactful automation experiences being made available to you in Copilot. If you like this video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. Your support is always appreciated. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Share with your colleagues and your peers, and subscribe if you are not already. Thank you all so much for your support. Have a good one, everyone.